we've had questions about transformers before and I want to show you when to cut them, what to use to cut them because if you want to clean your transformers to make more money or scrap the transformer coils, it's really important to know what you're looking at. So right off the bat, this is a demo saw. This is a very nice piece of equipment and there's a link below so you can buy one of these online. They are not inexpensive. They're they're going to cost you a few hundred bucks, but these are some of the best tools that you can have, especially if you want to be serious about scrapping. We like to use Husqvarna's. They're really long lasting. We generally will buy some extra rip cords, but again, this is what we use and this is how we use it. Now here's an example of a transformer. This is a transformer coil that's been cut already and you can clearly see that it's copper. This would be called copper fields or if this paper was removed, it could go as a number two to copper even with a little bit of the shellacking on it. Now we've had videos before showing you how to clean these transformers, how to cut them apart, but we just want to show you a couple more things. Another tool that we talk about often is a file. Again, link below so you can check these out. This along with magnets are things that you should always have in your scrapping toolbox. Now we can see that the ends of these are copper, but let's just pretend that we can't see it and you want to take your file, you want to be able to scratch here, and what you start to see is that red metal shining through. That red metal shows that it's copper, which means that this would have been worth taking and cutting apart with that demo saw. Now here you see an entire transformer. Now these not, might not be something that you see every day when scrapping, but if you ever do get them, again, you scratch right through, and what do you see? White. This is aluminum. Now, can you make more money by cutting this off? You could, because you could sell this probably like a sheet aluminum, and then underneath it, this steel that you see back here, these layers of steel that are pushed together, you get a better view from the top right here. All of these individual pieces of steel, this is called silicon bush lane. Now, most scrap yards are not going to buy this entire unit for you from you as a high grade, but if you take it apart, even if it's copper or aluminum, Save this little, these sheets of steel inside in a 55 gallon drum. Now, I'll, we'll put a link below, but you should always wear leather palm gloves because these sheets of silicon bushling are extremely sharp. Some of them are sharper than regular razor blades, and we've seen them cut through leather gloves before, and that's never what you want to have happen. So, wearing multiple layers will help. But by using your demo saw, by using the copper versus the aluminum method, by using your file, you're going to be able to make more money with transformers, and this does not apply only to larger transformers. Some of the ballasts that come out of the old lights or different rectifiers that you may take apart, they're about this big. Those can get cut, cut apart as well. Put those into a vise, cut those with a saw. You can peel the copper off of them and strip them out. We'll have a video coming soon, but we do have other videos that we've made about how to cut these apart, so make sure you click those links. Any questions, comment below. Thanks for checking out this scrap video. For more exclusive scrap video content, please become a YouTube member of our channel today. Thank you and I'll scrap you later.